This is the Dell Latitude 10. It's a Windows 8 tablet with Windows 8 Professional. This is uh, x86 Windows, not the RT version. We purchased this for our shipping office so they can run our ERP system on the go. We previously had deployed iPads and iPad minis and they wanted to see if there was a performance difference from running Windows or our ERP system natively off the tablet. Um, this is the full spec um, $700 model. This isn't the $200 cheaper model they just released. I just got this in the other day. Um, feels pretty good in the hand. 10 inch screen. Has a removable battery. Um, has your rear facing camera and flash. Has your front facing camera. On the right hand side we have mini HDMI. We have USB. Uh, headphone jack. On the top this is your rotational lock on and off. This is your power sleep button. You have a SD card slot. On the left hand side we have the volume and it looks like a little uh, place to put a lock. Front your Windows Home button here. Swipe up to log in. So here's your standard Windows 8 um, live tile setup. Um, I've installed Office 365 on this, no problem. Um, we'll set our servers up to do all of the updates for Windows. As you know, it's your desktop. on-screen keyboard. I'm not really too fond of the on-screen keyboard because I don't there's no alt or delete key so if you had to do a control alt delete there's I have to figure out what the sh keyboard shortcut is because it's not there you can do different t styles of keyboards, the full keyboard, the broken keyboard you can do the writing space Wi-Fi seems to work pretty well on it. Um, battery seems to last fairly decent amount of time so far. Um, the little stylus that comes with it as well. A major complaint is there's nowhere on the tablet to store this stylus when you're not using it, so you have to keep track of it and not lose it. The uh, the Windows Experience rating on this unit is only three point three. The um, SSD in this. Uh, tablet is almost more like a high-end uh, SD card. Actually, it is an MMC card according to the device manager, so this transfer rate is not really that much better than an actual mechanical hard drive. I mean, I tried to run ASSSD on it. I think it was like 30 megs read, and then when it went to write, it, it fa failed out for whatever reason. So I think it, to run a complete test on it, um, other than that, it feels pretty good in the hands. I mean, I like the the rubberized kind of back feel to it. Um, we also bought the docking station for it. We've got speaker headphones up front, USB on the back, three more USB, uh, HDMI. <laughs> power and a full gigabit ethernet jack. It's a nice little heavy stand. It doesn't go anywhere. You simply just mount them in the middle. 
set it back. Then you can use this kind of like a little mini laptop. It does have Bluetooth, so you can hook up a Bluetooth device to it. Um, other than that, we will have to see how well it holds up and how well any of the guys like it compared to the uh, iPads running the Terminal server. Uh, thanks for watching.